tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create the multilingual option in your WordPress website. So if you have a website, the WordPress website, that you want to have a multiple language in there, like this function here where someone can go and say, say if it's in Italian or if it's in Spanish and automatically the content changes to that language. All right. So I'll show you how easily you can do with a plugin. It's called G Translate dashboard in WordPress. So you access to new um, backend and then here you go to plugins. These plugins are new. And then add new, you need to add multilingual, all right? And then search. Okay, so here you have a um, few options. The first one is also good as well, but if you go to learn more, you will see that here is only 200,000 um, active installation and 1,000 reviews, right? Where in that one, G Translate, uh, if you go to learn more, you will see this, uh, almost or oh, well, more than 400,000 activations and active installations and then you go more than 3,000 uh, reviews which is make me think like that one is better so if we go in and you just need to install and active right and then once it's active it will be in your settings and the settings it will be in G Translate so here the first thing that you will see is the widget options right so as you can see in uh, first thing is uh, the widget, how it looks. So you can see here the widget preview. These options is a flag, with a flags and drop down, or if it's a with a language, you know, you have here multiple options, right? You can go through it and, and then select, right? So it's gonna pick this one, it was a pop-up. It was actually nice. When you click here, it will, uh, uh, Activate the pop-up, translate the form. So the form it will be from English, right? Um, but then if you have another language from from um, I don't know Spanish or what is the original language the website, so you just need to add it here. These two options for pay um, it will be paid, but it's if you want to create a subdomain with a URL and the same for that one as well, right? With the uh, dot. Uh, yes or dot I don't know well, Italy or whatever it is and that's it so the native language if you want to add it I'll just switch to the browser that's a good option so it depends where you are your browsers recognize that you are in uh, from China so it will be in Chinese right um, so show uh, in a menu that it will be an option primary for uh, that is for your menu but I really recommend to use the tag or the short code so what we need to do is use the shortcut and add it wherever it is. If you want to add it in your footer, it will be easy to just go to your footer and add this code or in the menu in the header. So you just use this code, short code and add it there. I'll show you how to do that uh, in a bit. The size, that's the wrapper wrap selector CSS is if you want to uh, make any style for that widget so it will be under this uh, wrapper this uh, css right so you can do it here as well custom css and then the flag uh, size so it will be here what's the size do you want for the for the uh, flag but look i really going to leave it like this 24 which is pretty good and then here it is the style if you want to 3d or uh, 2d right it's really 2d and then here, the most important is um, select what language you want to translate to, right? So you go here, all these languages that you can pick, African, you know, Bosnian, Catalan, Chinese, English, yeah, Maori, <coughs> Spanish, all of it, right? So once it's done, you save. And then what we need to do is just go here, customize or theme right and then what we want to do is add this short code you go to customize that is my theme but it will be that i'm not i want to show you that because the pens is not for everyone the same right and then you need to go if you want to put it into you into your header you just go to the header right and then here we just need to add as i did and um, let's gonna do it again right um html 
HTML or just put it as show code. So I'm just gonna go here is the HTML, right? And it will be something that you can also write in there. But what we want is to add the show code. So if you go here, text, and you add the show code, it will be also displaying there. So if now I publish and then I refresh, right? So you will see that here in the right, it will display these, um, the, the, the flags, right? The, the, this plugin. So now what we can do is go access to your website. So as an incognito always to test, right? And then here, as you can see right now, it's in Spanish, but then we can do it in English if we want, right? And then we can do it in Chinese, the Chinese, how? And then here all this, um, Italian, il posto mi gloria per, no, I don't know Italian. So then Spanish, and then as you can see, that is pretty good because everything, actually even everything on your site, it will translate, right? Okay, so that's, that's the, way. the way that you can have your WordPress website with a multiple language, okay? So please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, like and subscribe the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.